Hello cookbook friends and welcome to Cookbook Divas. My name is Katie. Today I'm really looking forward to checking this particular book out. Spring is coming up and I know I am going to be gardening a lot and I have a lot of herbs and vegetables and fruits I'm gonna grow. And one thing I really wanna be more familiar with is my herbs. So this is the Herbal Handbook. This is 51 profiles in words and art from the rare book and folio collections of the New York Botanical Garden. It does have some recipes, tincture, tinctures, teas, balms, and a lot of stuff. So this isn't ordinarily a cookbook we'd look through, but I figured this might be an interesting change of pace. So let's kind of check it out. I wonder if there is a, a table of contents here. There's gotta be. All right. Oh, wow. So, so far what I'm seeing, you might be able to see this, it's divided into the herb itself. So this ranges, I'm assuming, from all across the globe. It's not just one particular place. So we have like basil, bergamot, borage. I've not heard of that before. Uh, calendula, uh, caraway, catnip, chamomile, and it looks like it's in alphabetical order. So we've got a lot of herbs listed in here. I think we cover almost everything here, except for maybe a few here and there. But overall, it looks like almost everything is there, especially if you live in the United States. Uh, I love the illustrations. They're beautiful and they're fairly accurate to the plant itself, which is really cool. So let's kind of take a look at this a little bit. Um, Let's see, I know that a lot of us have basil or enjoy basil, so let's start off at the beginning. Uh, we have how it's grown, we have usages for basil, and basil is the same family as mint, along with rosemary and lavender, and there are 60 species of basil. Sweet basil and Thai basil are the two main basils out there. Um, so that's interesting, and they're the most common ones. So I love the illustrations again, beautiful, I love that. And then we have here a tomato basil pesto, so we do have awesome recipes throughout where we can actually use every herb that we might be growing. I know that, so for instance, I'm excited to get to rosemary, maybe I'll wait, I'll save you the story for rosemary, but let's move on to more basil. Here is a, uh, Oh, it just gives you one recipe and we're done. That's why there's so many chapters. So I kind of like that though. It tells you how, like how to plant it, what kind of, you know, what kind, how to grow, um, usages. And then it just gives you kind of a bonus. Here's a recipe, enjoy, and then go experiment and go grow. I think that's really cool. So let's look at like, here we go, um, chamomile. I have not grown chamomile. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is a really interesting way it's divided up. So it looks like we've got the plant in at the cover. Title of the chapter. It's really only like two pages long explaining each herb. And then we have, you know, usage to grow on the next page plus your bonus recipe, which could be an actual food recipe. It looks like they have teas. This is a chamomile eye therapy compress recipe, which I might need. I, I think a lot of us need to rest our eyes more often, especially if you work at the computer. So that's really cool that they give you a variety of kinds of recipes for all home remedies, recipes for all kinds of stuff. Let's look at, uh, we've got, I was going to talk about my rosemary story. So I... I grow rosemary, but I only use it in like two things. And I I know it's not ordinarily used in spaghetti, but I use it in spaghetti. And then I can't even remember where I use rosemary, but I would love to learn where else I could use rosemary. Maybe this will tell me. So we've got rosemary here, gorgeous, recognizable. I'm sure a lot of us have grown rosemary. It's like a weed. And then we have, ooh, Mushroom rosemary pizza. There we go. Very cool. The recipes are really easy. It gives you a really simple yield, simple serving size, very simple instructions. There's not a lot of space. So, you know, it, the simpler the better. I've never heard of, this is a salsify. 
I like that. So salsify flowers point towards the sun and follow it in the sky. Plants are so cool. I love that. Let's look at some other ones here. I wonder if there's any ones that I might not have, like fenugreek. I don't know if I can grow fenugreek in the Pacific Northwest. Maybe I can. But I use fenugreek in a lot of my Indian cooking, uh, as many Indian recipes require it. Let's see what else. There's hollyhock dolls. So it looks like here, hollyhock. This is beautiful. And then the recipe is hollyhock dolls. I wish they had a picture. No picture of what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. But interesting. Let's see. Oregano, another one. I had no idea what oregano flowers looked like, so that's cool to see it fully in bloom, the illustrations, how to grow, usage, cool facts. Uh, what do they use? Spiced olives appetizer with dried oregano. Very cool. Parsley is another common one. And how to grow. This is a gremolata is the recipe for, for parsley. So cool. I'm going to definitely enjoy looking through this on my own time and just kind of seeing what things I'm actually growing. And the usages is really cool. I love that. Actually, maybe I'll read something for you guys here. Like, let's do lavender real quick for the usage. So it says, lavender is treasured for its scent, although also used as a garnish or flavoring. Lavender flavoring can be found in ice creams, jams, lemon bars, etc. Cocktails, teas, lattes. Uh, tremendously popular for potpourri, sachets, and dream pillows. I remember those. It's also used in meditation, aromatherapy, perfumes, soaps, etc. So I'm sure a lot of us already do that, but in case there's a herb in here that maybe you're not too keen on, you might be able to learn a cool a couple things about it, or there might be something that surprises you about one of the herbs that maybe you commonly use and that you can use it for something else. This is a really cool book. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you're somebody that likes to grow any of their own herbs, uh, sorry about my phone, uh, then definitely check this out. This is Herbal Handbook, so not an ordinary cookbook, but I felt like bringing it up to you guys anyway. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to, if you guys want more cookbooks, sorry, had a bit of a brain fog. I'm just getting over being sick. Um, come check us out on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, uh, obviously here. We also have a podcast and a blog. So come check us out on all of those things. And we are at Cookbook Divas. Also, you can find us on Amazon Live now. We're doing all kinds of stuff, including trivia days on Friday. We're going to do tea time and Monday meal prep. Lots of stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you guys again for watching and make sure to comment, leave a message for us, subscribe. We love you guys. Thank you.